Libra. Welcome to your love reading for the first half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, social media links, decks I'm using, tons of stuff there. Please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. Uh, to those who have subscribed, thank you, thank you. Those who reached out for personal readings, thank you, thank you for trusting me to read for you. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or a donation to the channel is very much appreciated. Thank you, thank you so much. I could not do it without without all your support. So that really means a lot. Any support you wish to give the channel to help it grow, and being a part of that would be greatly appreciated, whether it's just a like, a share, a comment, um, subscribing and all that great stuff would be greatly appreciated. So thank you, thank you. Okay, let's go on now, Libra, to your love connection reading for the first half of September. This can be any type of connection that you have with the person, any type of connection, and whoever you have in mind at this time. So it's not anything specific, uh, any for any specific type of connection. It's for any kind of connection. And if you clicked on the title, then there's probably something in here that's resonating for you, hopefully. Okay, so love connection reading for the first half of September for Libra. I hope everybody's doing well. Almost coming into your birthday season, the end of next month, in about a month, at the end of summer. End of summer already coming up. Wow. All right, so this is a Zodiac Oracle, whatever we get here. If you don't resonate with what comes out, that is totally fine. It's a little extra bonus, so the rest of the reading may be for you. So we got fire. So it could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, or Aries, or it could be just could just be the energy of fire, which is very passionate, fiery, uh, determined kind of energy, having a lot of drive, ambition, uh, going after what you want, with a lot of excitement and energy and enthusiasm, and knowing what you want and going after it. With fiery, fiery energy here. All right, fire ignited for you, some of you maybe here. All right, I just had uh, <laughs> R. Kelly's song, Ignition, just like come into my head. So I don't know if you know that song. <laughs> it's kind of, uh, I don't know, maybe early 2000s, around 2000, I guess. All right, so let's see what's going on with you, Libra. Libra, let's get an overall love energy for you, Libra, for the first half of September. What's going on with Libra? Whoa. And love in their connection. The first half of September. I'm only going to take this card here that flipped upright. Romance. Lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. And we have 25 here, and that reduces to 7, which is a very divine spiritual number. So this could be a very divine spiritual connection here, and it's full of passion and romance. So we have romance and passion here coming out for you, Libra. Wow. All right, Libra. So, and I had just said fire ignited. And romance, fire and romance ignited for you, Libra. First half of September. All right, Libra. So let's get a card for you, how you are feeling about your person and the connection. And then we'll get one for your person and how they are feeling about you in this connection. So can we get one card for Libra Spirit, please? How are they feeling about their person? How are they feeling about this connection at this time? The first half of September. There we go. So we have number 34, which is seven again. Very, this is could be a very, and you are number seven, Libra. So we got seven, seven, seven. Very divinely guided, spiritual, romantic, passionate connection here. And we have received with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. So you may be exchanging... Uh, and giving each other gifts at the beginning, uh, beginning of September. Gifts, just uh, words of encouragement and appreciation and support and love and all that good, ooey gooey kind of stuff. <laughs> all right, so let's see.
can we get one card for Libra's person here, whoever they're thinking of? One card for them. How are they feeling about Libra? And how are they feeling about this connection at this time? Spirit, please. Can we get one card? The Libra's person, please. Thank you so much. There we go. So, we have 10. Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. Wow, they really treasure you. I think they're deeply in love with you. Wow, we have 10 here, and I'm getting, and usually 10 means an ending, and then one is a new beginning, but I'm getting, like, the 10 of cups feeling of, like, total happiness, joy, emotional and loving fulfillment in every way, happy home and relationship kind of energy between the two. Wow. Libra. I'm feeling like ooey gooey kind of love here. All right. So what do we have on the bottom of the deck now? Seven again. Oh my God. Seven, seven, four sevens here. Wow. Wow. The only thing that is real is love. Oh my God. <laughs> Shift your focus from the problem back to love. But I don't think there's any, I'm not sensing any problems. I'm sensing that this is just a very, very, uh, like, I don't want to say infatuated, but very, very loving connection here. Wow. I'm feeling like new love and being excited and like that puppy puppy love kind of energy. Wow, Libra. Okay. All right. So let's see what's going on with the tarot. Let's see what the tarot has to say in this situation. I'm feeling passion, love, romance. It's like it's now it's like this connection is now getting like into full swing like if you've only been dating now it's like deeply like deeply falling for each other now like really hard all right so let's get one four as they all fall on the floor well they come out as the queen of cups and i had just said that water energy here but it doesn't have to be but yep being in love being loving, caring, compassionate, nurturing, and giving. Uh, and the Queen of Cups is all about love and emotions. Cups energy here. So you definitely are in love with this person. Um, they could be a water sign. Or you could have water in your chart. Or they could have water in their chart in some way. If not fire. Fire could just be the oops, energy of the uh, connection. Being very fiery and passionate. I gotta pick up my cards here because they went flying on the floor and I'm sitting in tight quarters here, so okay. <laughs> All right. Let me make sure the camera's okay. Oy bay. All right. Sorry about that. Alrighty, so I oh, just wanna make sure. Okay, so let's get one for your person. Oh, it's way too many. One for your person. Oh, there we go. So we have the Six of Pentacles. Wow. So Earth energy here. So very, you know, very balanced uh, connection here between the two of you. They feel like things, like you both feel the same. They feel like things are very balanced between the two of you. This equal give and take, equal communication, love and feelings being shared. Wow. So, I mean, we have water, we have earth, we have fire. So, I mean, you know, it could be any sign. So, this is just energy. So, let's clarify you with the Queen of Cups, Page of Pentacles. So, you know, this is an uh, offer coming in, uh, stable and grounded. So, I'm feeling like here you may be, you know, I don't know, maybe communicating to them that you want to... Uh, go all the distance with them all the way with them for the long term page of pentacles here is that stable communication wanting to build and grow slow and steady for the long term 
Okay, so let's see what they have. The lovers. Wow, Gemini energy here. So, yep, lovers here, soulmate energy here. Yep, so, yep, they choose you. They know you're their soulmate. You want slow, steady growth with them for the long term. You are in love with them. There's equal give and take here between the two of you. They feel that energy of the uh, equal reciprocity between the two of you. Equal emotions being shared. Love, emotions, passion, equally. Wow. Both being on the same page. Wow. All right, so what is the actual situation here? Libra. Libra, first half of September. What is the actual situation here for Libra? We have a few cards, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. So we have the moon. Deepen your emotions here. The moon energy. That's the feminine energy. The two of cups. Holy crap, Libra. <laughs> the two of cups. And one more. The Libra. Love. First half of September. Can we get one more? I want one and I got two, so I don't feel comfortable taking that whole mess of clump that came out. Let's just want one, one card. Please be patient with the shuffling. It is tarot. There is shuffling. I don't want to hear too much shuffling, blah, blah, blah. It's tarot. You want real reading. The cards have to come out in real time. <laughs> All right. Wow. So now we have the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Look at this. So, so we have the moon energy here, Cancer or Pisces, but it doesn't have to be attached to you. This is the feminine energy, which is your energy over here. If you are a feminine or you could be male with feminine energy, however, it resonates for you. So the moon here can talk about very deep, deep feelings here. And maybe you have not revealed exactly how much you want from them, how much you care for them how much you're in love with them. You want to go the whole nine yards with them. You want to spend the rest of your life with them at the page of pentacles. That's like pentacles are like commitment, long-term, you know, energy here. And I feel like you have this energy over here and you may not re be revealing all that to them just yet because the moon can talk about things that are not quite revealed yet. And also deep, deep feelings and emotions here with the moon. So yeah, you, you want a lot here, you're deeply invested, a lot of love, deep love here, but you're not quite revealing yet everything you want in this relationship. But see, you you want the offer here, and now on their side, here they are with the offer, with the Ace of Pentacles, with the Earth energy. Here's the brand new beginning of stability, going the long term, the long haul, you know, planting the seed and then having divinely guided here, having that long-term growth, expansion, commitment, uh, life partner here, or the rest of your life, or the rest of your days, however here. And they want that also. You have it on your side, you want it, and they want it. You're not quite revealing yet everything to them, but they may feel the same because they do have the Six of Pentacles where that's that equal exchange. And then connecting the two of you is the Two of Cups. So here is the soulmate, deep, deep soulmate connection here two cards of soulmate connection. So here are the two of you coming together as one in soulmate union. Love, emotions, feelings here. Two people divinely guided into soulmate union. Wow. This is like the sun energy and then you have the moon energy. So I feel like you're not revealing yet everything that you want and expect but they want the same and they're just going to offer it to you instead. <laughs> it's like you're not telling them, but they want the same and they're going to offer it to you. And then you come and you meet in the middle and you come together here with the two of cups energy and uh, have this big, bright soulmate union. Wow. Let's clarify. So we've got the Knight of Swords and strength. Wow. So air and Leo, but it doesn't have to be. So again, there, I feel like they're going to come rushing in. I mean, you may want to here with the Knight of Swords. It's over on your side here. But uh, I think you're waiting for them to come rushing in. 
and they will because the offer is right here and then they have the courage and the strength and the confidence to do that because they see you as their soulmate they're confident in the soulmate union very strong feelings here very strong feelings for you for this union they're very confident they have a lot of courage so I definitely feel like they're gonna come rushing into you with this offer and then you have what you want here that you're not revealing you are gonna get what you want because they're gonna turn around and offer it to you unexpectedly and you're gonna be like wow <laughs> All right, both on the same page, whether you know it or not. Okay, so let's get, put the camera down. Let's get some advi uh, advice for you in this situation. Libra, wow, what a reading, Libra. The Four of Pentacles. All right, I'm getting the message already, but let's see what else comes out here. What else do we have for Libra with the Four of Pentacles? Okay, exactly. Yep, exactly what I was being told is exactly what came out. Your advice is to wait. The Four of Pentacles here, he's kind of just waiting there, sitting there. He's holding on, holding. It's like holding on to everything he has, the stability. And it can be an energy of also holding back from people, not like giving to people. So the message I got when I first saw this is to wait and hold back for their communication. And then we have the Eight of Wands, which is the communication. It's very passionate, fiery, fast action, uh, Cupid's arrows, communication coming in, traveling, maybe rushing in, traveling to you, speaking with truth and clarity, what they want, what they desire, moving forward. They may even propose to you, Libra, in the future. So we have earth and fire. Here's the fire energy. So, I mean, they could be an earth sign. They could be any sign, really. Uh, but, yep, yeah, your advice is to hold out and wait for their communication. Wow. So let's get more. Six of Swords and the Three of Wands in reverse. So, okay, what I'm getting with this is you're not going to have to wait long because the Three of Wands upright is waiting. You know, you see your... Um, where you want to go, what you, the direction you want to go in, out in the distance, the path you want to take, but for some reason you have to wait before you can move on that journey. But in the Three of Wands in reverse, you're not waiting any longer. <laughs> so you're not going to have to wait very long for this to move forward. Here's your energy with the Six of Swords. Swords is air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Moving on to a better place here. Here's that moon energy again. Here's what all you want and desire that you're waiting for, but you won't have to wait long because it's in reverse and you will be moving on together as if you have a child or not as a family or just together into a better place. I don't feel like you're in a bad place now, but I feel like where you're going to is going to be even better beyond your dreams, beyond your imagination, and you're not going to have to wait long for this communication. So you have an energy here of waiting, not waiting, being stubborn and just, well, not stubborn, but um, what I'm getting with that is just to wait for their communication. You're not going to have to wait long. It's going to come in quick. You'll be moving on together in even a better place that you're in now. Wow. So what is the outcome? What is the outcome, Libra? What is the outcome, Libra, in this love connection? First half of September, first half of September, Spirit, please. What is the outcome for Libra in this love connection? Queen of Pentacles. So Earth energy here, but it doesn't have to be. So this is going to be a very, very strong, solid, stable connection for you, for them, moving forward, king or queen here. It's very, very stable, sturdy and grounded. Ab abundance and growth bunny there could be a lot of fertility as with the fire and passion um very very long term pentacles come in they don't leave they stay they're long term life partner here soulmate energy you're both on the same page you both want the same thing very very deep love emotions a lot of fiery chemistry between the two of you 
both wanting the same thing. Wow. Let's see what else do we have here. The Magician. Wow. And the Seven of Pentacles. So this is the slow, steady growth, putting in, you know, waiting. But it's, you know, planting the seeds, as with the Ace here. For this, you know, waiting, but it's slow, steady growth here. But I, I energy, again, of not waiting long for this to manifest to the stable, stable relationship here for the long term. Magician here. Manifesting this. So this will manifest. And I don't think you're going to have to wait long for this person at all to come in even propose or just say hey you know let's commit or let's move in together or whatever here uh i think it's going to happen quickly for you libra wow all right so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck the seven of cups so you know this is a kind of a daydreamy kind of confused looking at your all your options making having to make a decision being confused uh, weighing out the pros and cons, looking at options. Hmm. So, I mean, I just got a message and it just left and now I don't remember what I was going to say. Um, so, okay, so maybe you're daydreaming about the future with this person. Like you're not revealing to them all that you want. Like you want the happy home and family you know, living together, married, whatever here, it's like you're like, oh, we could be married, we'd have kids, we have a nice home, we have a long future, you know, you're like daydreaming about all of this possibility with this person. Queen of Swords, so you will have, you know, and I feel like when I see the Queen of Swords, it always reminds me of divine energy from above. And it's like the truth, the sword of truth here, bringing the soulmates together. And this is your energy, though, Queen of Swords, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Here is your energy. So I do think here, you know, daydreaming about this person. But you also are very logical. So, but, you know, you're wanting truth and clarity here. You're standing up for yourself, not taking any BS. Nine of Wands. So, you know, this is... I think, I think you're both going to keep fighting on. Here's that fiery, passionate energy. You know, maybe you're just going to be very passionate in all ways until you, like, run down and tired. <laughs> I don't know here, but um, just going to keep fighting on, fighting on in this connection, if that makes sense to you, and not going to give up on it, no matter what. Through thick and thin. And there you go. A whole new world with this person whole new chapter, whole new cycle, getting closure. Here's the ring of closure. Some of you, I definitely feel it could be getting proposed to or something like that or deeper commitment. The star, here's the healing. This is divinely guided soulmate connection here with the four sevens that we had earlier. Divinely guided soulmate connection by the star energy. A lot of healing could heal one another. Patience, balance, faith, hope, optimism, wishes and dreams coming true. And here it comes the night here with the offer. Could be, like I said, some getting engaged. Slow, steady, secure offer for the long term. Taking that action may be slow coming. Might have been slow coming. Or it's just very uh, secure, stable. Divinely guided, whole new world with this person. You're going to stick together no matter what, no matter what obstacles and challenges you get come through. There you are, standing in your truth and clarity about this person. You, you've seen it all. You know exactly what you can have with this person. Wow. Wow. Libra. So let's get some advice and guidance for you Libra some advice and guidance for you Libra and this love connection wow wow Libra I'm a little jealous all right so advice guidance for Libra spirit please thank you so much and this love connection first half of September I'm feeling that one too 
respect. 43, seven again. I mean, come on, I can't. All these sevens here, I think you just have so much mutual respect for one another. You respect yourselves, you know, your value and your worth, and you also respect and value each other deeply. Wow. Wow. What do we have here now? Self-love. Six, seven again. Self-love. Not only are you, you know, just in that space of having self-love and appreciation and respect, but also for this person, a lot of love and respect between the two of you. Wow. Seven. That's like five sevens. We got one, two, three, four, five. Five sevens, I believe. Wow. All right. Anything else? Or what was this over here? Yes, yeah, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six sevens. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. If we get another seven, that'll be seven sevens. That'll be crazy. That'll be crazy. So we have unexpected, exactly, because <laughs> we had the the Knight of Swords over here. So I think it's going to be very unexpected. They're going to rush into you and give you everything that you are hoping and desiring and wishing for, and all your dreams and wishes will be coming true. We have 84 here, which is 12, which is 3, which is reunion, celebrations, uh, coming together, working together, teamwork. Wow. Let's see what we have on the bottom of the deck. Positive-minded people. 23, 5, which is about change. So I think you're both in a very positive mindset, very high positive vibration in this uh, connection towards one another. This uh, connection is very, very uh, positive for the two of you. Wow. And then on the top, I just look, we have sincere relationships, 29, which is 11, which is 2. The two people coming together in unity, soulmate here. So, yeah, very sincere relationship here. Wow. Wow, Libra. Wowzers. Okay, Libra. If this resonated for you, please do comment. <laughs> Tell me your situation. I love to read the comments. Um, if you like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe. Um Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love for all the signs, so don't miss out on that. Um, if this didn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below for links to past playlists and maybe something there will resonate for you. I do consider all my readings timeless, so just ignore the date. If a title catches your eye, I would say watch it anyway. There may be something in there for you. Wow, Libra, so I'm a little jealous, and good luck to you moving forward in this love connection. Wishing you the best, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.